All of us can use a shortcut now and again when it comes to getting dinner on the table. And Grandma Debbie's Kitchen at Finley Market can help. Grandma Debbie Ganaway is here to show us how to make her chicken meatball hoagie. The great thing about Grandma Debbie's is you can just have her do it. But her <laughs> recipes are really good, too, if you want to if you want to give it a try. How you been? Happy New Year. Very good. Happy New Year to you good. as well. Good. How are things at the market? We're busy, you know. That's good. Still lots of people eating at home. Still lots of people. got, And now more kids will be at home. Right. So. Exactly with Cincinnati Public going to remote. So yeah. you can get all the ingredients you need just right there in that one place, which is great. Yeah, exactly. Everything I have here I got at Finley Market. Okay, so you're starting with some, so, what, ground chicken? The, well, the, I'm not making the meatballs. You've got to come okay. and buy the meatballs. Buy the meatballs from Debbie. <laughs> we're trying to make this easy. Okay, good. But, you know, if somebody really wanted that recipe, I could do it. Okay. Um, we're making the sauce. All right. The hoagie sauce. So I've got mm. some onions sauteing in here right. so that we could get kind of started. Okay. I'm going to have Sheila open up a couple cans. All so right. those came from the Mediterranean. Okay. I'm going to be What kind of tomato some, sauce are you using here? In this case, it's just really diced uh, canned tomatoes. Oh, okay. It's going to be a thinner sort of sauce mm -hmm. than some people like. So I brought a can of tomato paste, too, to thicken okay. it up. Um, I like it kind of loose. This is a very useful, simple sauce. Onions, um, garlic. Ah, I love this thing. Uh huh. Your real garlic press. Real chefs might actually frown on this because they're better with a knife than I am. But I've often said, I'm not a chef. I'm a grandma who cooks. <laughs> That's Putting a in a good little bit of out. basil, a little salt. There we go. Little <laughs> tomato paste does not oh. want to help me little out. Little sugar. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Now I'm getting it. Got it. Yep. Little black pepper. I'm gonna stir that up with the. Uh... Yep. I'm on. Come on, <laughs> lid. We're gonna turn it up just a little bit. Oh, there we go. So this is where I say, boy, if we had smell a vision, you guys. It would... does. It smells really good with those spices going in there. Okay, yeah. here's your tomatoes and your tomato paste. We'll turn the heat up just a little bit. <laughs> get it going. So you might want to, yeah, save some of this juice. Okay. Like I said, some people like it really, really thick. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of. Oh, I'm going everywhere, aren't I? <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll just make it juicy. What the heck? Okay. Hmm. And actually, what I brought to feed everybody here um, was a can of the batch that I made at home mm -hmm. so that I could have plenty hot and ready to feed the hungry crew is crushed tomatoes uh -huh. with heavy sauce already oh, in it. So okay. take a look in there. You can see how these, much thicker. These look amazing. I'm going to see if I can turn this so you can see. Now, are you, do you normally just cook yours on the stove top or do you put it in a crock pot? Oh yeah, no, I normally do it in a big pot on the stove. Yeah. But to bring it here and make sure it, that it's it was hot all to feed you guys. Done and together. Yeah. That's so kind Went of ahead. you. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, tried. So you got that sauce all mixed up, now what? Right, well, then we need this, this needs to simmer, which of course we don't have time to make that happen. Um, we have but what you would do, let this simmer and then you would plop in your meatballs. Mm -hmm. I kept some of them whole because we're going to show what it would be like okay. to do them. I'm reach in front of you and steal this. I think a fun thing to do for a football party, you know, we're kind of into football yeah, we in are. Cincinnati right now. We got the right Bengals now, playoff game Saturday. Would be to skewer mm. Mm -hmm. one of the meatballs with the skewers that I brought. Here they are. <laughs> <laughs> skewer one mm -hmm. and put a pickle and maybe the bottom of a bun. Oh, and that's a good you idea. Do that? Plop one on there. Yeah. Sprinkle a little cheese so on it. Bun. You can have a whole tray of those. Got 20 seconds left. Build okay. me a homie. So you, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna, well, sorry. Here we go. I didn't plan this part out as well as I should have. That's and I, it. I went ahead and you cut. You put some Parmesan cheese on top. The Parmesan cheese is in the sauce. Mm -hmm. um, and then a little bit more sprinkled. And I cut them in half because, you know, a whole meatball on a hoagie bun yeah. is a bit of a challenge. Yeah. This is delicious. I love raw onion on mine. You know, this is where yeah. you could set it up so people could, whoops, put them together the Good way deal. they wanted. Good thing John isn't helping me. He'd have this all over his tie again. <laughs> so we'll put the, uh, the the recipe for the sauce on local12.com. Right. You can go get your Here's meatballs from Debbie and Grandma Debbie's Kitchen at Finley Market. That looks good. And the buns were from Kenny's and the tomatoes were from Mediterranean. I kind of spread myself go. around. That sounds good. I can point you to <laughs> all Thanks, the right Debbie. places. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back in a moment.